In this lesson, we're going to fill the holes for the rest of our model. All right, so let's start in uh, with the rest of this, and we know how to uh, go ahead and start filling in holes. Now, whenever we have larger holes like this, what we want to do is we want to split those into some smaller pieces, just to make things a little bit easier. Now, more importantly, whenever you're splitting these pieces, you want to make sure that you are getting the proper loops. So, for example, right here along the bottom, I could go ahead and just start going straight across um, that way, but that's going to prove to be a little bit of an issue, um, especially since we have this sharp corner right here in this topology. So what we'll want to do is we'll want to take one of these edges and extrude it out and then curve it to come back into the center here. So to get started with this, let's select this edge right here. So let's go to edge mode by hitting 2 on the keyboard under editable poly. And I'm going to show end result so I can see that happening on both sides. And let's go to our move tool. Now with our move tool active, let's hold down shift and drag that out. And we'll continue to drag that out two more times. Now remember, you want to go into vertex mode and adjust your topology to where the polygons will point in the direction in which they're moving. So I'm going to pull this out here. And then we're going to pull this one up just a little bit further. And let's make sure that we grab the correct vertex before we start moving that. And then let's go to edge mode. And let's select these two edges right here. And we'll just simply bridge that together. Okay, now you can select the edges and you can move those to make that go a little bit faster. Okay, so now we have that loop. That's crucial. So let's get the same loop on the back side. So let's select both of those edges. Let's use bridge settings. And this time, let's just bump up our segments to three. And let's match however many segments we have back here. So let's hit four on the keyboard to go to our polygon mode. And then let's pull this up and over and get that to be kind of a round uh, sort of shape. Now I want it to be kind of square, so I'm going to make sure I go to vertex mode and pull these vertices out a little bit. Okay, so now that we have uh, that set, let's create the loop that we need along the back side here. So let's match this loop here. And we're going to do the exact same thing that we did uh, just now using those settings. Um, on this one, uh, we do want to go ahead and set it to 3. Okay, We might go up a little bit more, and we can always add geometry. I'm looking at the the segments that are up here at the top, and I may want to do one more polygon just to uh, keep from having to do that later on. So let's go ahead and go to edge mode, and we're going to pull these out. Okay, and I'm just looking kind of from the bottom here, just trying to see if that matches that shape. So now that we have um, that set, we can come in and we can start to do the rest. Now, looking at this, we've got a little bit of a mismatch and our polygon size. We have some smaller polygons on this side and then over here this is a very long polygon. So what we need to do is cut this one in half and we can do this by using the Edit Swift tool under your graphite modeling tools. Now if you don't see this ribbon at all you will want to come up here to Toggle Ribbon and make sure that that is turned on. So let's go to Edit under the Modeling panel and Swift Loop and we're going to create a loop right here in the middle of this segment. Now I also want to make sure that I'm holding down shift whenever I create this because what it's going to do is it's going to place that right in the center and it's going to average out that, that loop in between the two segments that it's cut uh, between there. So it creates a smoother transition. So now we have enough polygons to start going straight across. Now before I start doing that, let's make sure that we are taking care of uh, this loop right here that comes up and across the top here as I want it to come around and then connect to here. So let's select the two edges we want that to connect to and use bridge. Now I'm going to continue using the four segments because I know that that's going to match up with the rest of my geometry. And let's just go into edge mode and let's make sure that we have the correct edge selected and let's pull that around. Now whenever working with editable poly and you have symmetry turned on, you'll want to go ahead and change the cage. Maybe it's a little hard for you to see the orange color with the yellow highlight, as that can be a little difficult for me. So to change the color of your cage, you'll go down to your subdivision um, surface rollout and you'll see this show cage. You can turn that off or on and you can make that a little bit easier on yourself. Now, uh, normally I like to have the cage on because it tells me that I'm working with symmetry. 
Um, you can also change the color itself by clicking on these swatches. So the first color is going to be the color of the cage itself. So we can change it to something like a light blue, make that really easy to see. And then you could also change the color of the object that is selected, in this case the edges. Uh, we can make that something like red. Okay, make that very easy to take a look at. So um, I like to do something kind of along these lines. Alright, so now um, let's continue on with our loops. I'm going to go ahead and skip this edge and this edge, and we're going to go from here to here and bridge across that way. Okay, so um, looking at this really quickly I'm just kind of looking at these edges making sure that they match across for me to go from here to here but look here we have this edge and it looks like um, one of these segments is going to be a little bit too a um, little too small we have an extra one in here so I'm gonna go into edge mode I'm gonna take this one right here and I'm gonna hit control backspace to remove that now we've created a very large polygon right here but we have a really small one above that so I want to take these edges and I want to pull those down. Now I want to pull those down in such a way that's not going to change the form. So what I can do is I can constrain my sub-object movements to an edge or even to the polygon. So to take a look at constraints, we can find these in two different places. Uh, the first place is underneath your edit geometry rollout and you'll see that you have constraints. So we can constrain this edge movement to the edge itself and whenever we move that down, notice that it's not changing the form of the object. It's just moving that edge along that um, set of edges that are already existing. So I can take this one, I can pull that straight down. Notice how it spreads across. And then I can go to vertex mode and I can pull this one down. Okay, we can pull this back up just to kind of alleviate the sizes there of our geometry. And we've evened that out using constraints. Now the next place that you can find constraints is right up here in your modeling tools. Um, you can go up to, uh, let's find it here, I believe it's under edit, yep, there we go. And you'll see that you have four options. None is with zero constraints, edge is what we have activated right now. You can constrain it to a face or even to a normal. Okay, but normally, uh, normally we're going to be using this edge constraint. Now whenever you're finished making those movements, you'll want to turn that off because if you start to uh, change where a vertex is, is sitting, you'll notice that it's not allowing me to pull that out in the X. That's because it's constrained. So we'll turn that off and then we'll be able to fine tune the shape of our object. Alright, so now let's go back to edge mode and let's select these two edges and we're going to use bridge using the same set of uh, polygons. We'll pull that out and I'm just trying to get a round shape. I'm not worried about what it's going to look like as it goes into the next shape, as we can take care of that in just a few moments. So here, uh, let's take these edges right here. Let's bridge those. And again, you'll notice that I'm just skipping a set of polygons. So that way I can just quickly come through and bridge in between. So this makes a, a very quick workflow. Now, whenever you have something like this, it can be a little difficult uh, to uh, to bridge across. So we'll have to get a little creative uh, with this. So one thing that I could do is I could select these two edges. Okay, and let's actually select both of these and I could use a bridge. Let's do two polygons there and then we'll take those edges. Now notice that the edges um, come out and they're pretty close but we do want to give that a little bit more shape. Okay, so that looks good. We've split that in part. And now all I have to do is come in and go to my freeform tools, poly draw, and use that extend tool. And then I can just hold down shift or control alt, excuse me, and then left click and drag across to create those polygons and finish this out. Do the same thing down here. And you'll see that we've gone into a triangle. Okay, so we have a little bit of an issue. So let's hit control Z three times and let's split one of these polygons here. So I'm going to go ahead and take these two edges and hit connect and then we'll take the the previous edges and we'll kind of spread those apart trying to make these polygons the same size all the way through. If need be you'll have to come in and go to vertex mode and make some quick changes to the overall topology. 
Okay, let me take this one, let me pull that down a little bit. And there we go. So now we can go back to edge mode, poly draw, extend, hold down control alt, and then left click, and put those uh, polygons to use there. Now finally, uh, we have one more of those segments just like we had before. So let's select these two right here in the middle. Let's use our bridge settings using two segments or two polygons. Let's take these new segments right here in the middle. Let's pull those out. And then we'll go into our poly draw extend, hold down control alt, and then we'll just drag across. Whoops. Let's make sure that we get the right one. And there we go. So now all I have to do is just come in and start working with the overall form. So straighten up some of these forms, trying to get the shape that we want out of our object. And then we'll come in and we'll go to vertex mode. And we'll just do some fine tuning here. All right, so now we have uh, this front part uh, that we need to take care of. And again, we have four polygons, so we need to split this right here. So I'm just going to use connect. And then we'll take the edges that were on the outside and we'll pull those apart. We'll try to even out the size of these polygons. There we go. Okay, oops. Let's turn that off there. Let's come in and let's do a little bit of adjustment to our shape. And it looks like we need one more uh, set right here as we have a, a segment that's going to come around but it doesn't have anywhere to go to so let's use connect on this one and let's just pull that entire loop so I double clicked on that edge and I just pulled that straight up just to kind of make those polygons even now we'll come through and I'm going to select these two I'm going to use bridge with those settings that we had before so just uh, two segments actually let's try that one more time let's do three polygons Okay, because we have three segments. Let's go to polygon mode, select the two in the middle, and we will just pull those out. And then now all we have to do is go to extend, hold down control alt, left click and drag those polygons across. And there we go, we've cleaned up that entire side. So now we have the bottom and we know what technique we could use to um, create this. Um, so we could use our uh, cut, or excuse me, cap and cut to take care of this. So we'll cap that. We'll go to vertex mode, right click and cut, and we'll go from here to here. But then here we have an end gone. We have a five sided polygon. So we need to terminate this somewhere. So I'm going to go from this segment all the way across to the middle. And that will terminate right there in the middle. And you, as you can see, that continues that loop all the way through. Finally, we have the back side here which needs to be done the exact same way. So cap, go to vertex mode and cut. And we'll cut from here to here. Notice how that loop continues on. And then we'll cut from here all the way to the middle. And there we go. So now all you have to do is just come in and make some uh, really quick adjustments to your vertices, trying to get your shape um, out of your object okay, that you desire. And we're looking really good. All right, so in the next lesson, what we're going to do now that we've finished this up is we're going to learn how to um, create some final details. As you can see, we've got this space um, here across the top that we need to um, build in. And this can be a little tricky as it's we have polygons that are up underneath. So we're going to take a look at how to overcome that challenge next.